So this is the hover mode. We get a countdown, it's gonna launch. And now the hover mode basically, as the name suggests, it's just going to hover. So it started recording, but the cool thing is it will still track me. So even though it's not going to follow me, which is a different mode, it's going to hover and track my movement. So I can walk around and do exactly what I need to do. I can even walk behind the camera, for example, and then back around and it's going to follow my movements or track me but it's still just going to hover and hold its position. So this mode's really handy, especially if you've got something going on and you just want to focus on yourself and you want to walk around a location, ideal for something like that. So we're going to check out zoom out mode now. So I'm just going to press the button once, I've changed the zoom out mode. It's going to go with a three meter distance. So it's just going to take off. It kind of decreases in altitude a little bit and now it's recording and it's zooming out to reveal the situation, reveal the location I'm in. It's now going to automatically fly back. I can still, it's, it's still recording and now it's stopped recording. So I can just put my hand under and obviously it will land immediately. So you can see how easy it is to just swap between the modes. We're now gonna check out the follow mode, which I've been testing out quite thoroughly. Follow. So it's just going to basically launch and it will just hover. It starts recording instantly but now it's actually going to follow me, right? So it's gonna start flying towards me. I've also got it in a different mode where it's following from a bit of a distance. So I think it's three meters, I wanna say. Uh, when I walk in close, it seems to stay there, but then straight when I walk away, for example, like over here, it's going to keep that distance of around three meters, I believe it is. And so you can see it does an awesome job of just following me wherever I'm going. So all I've got to do if I want it to land is I can walk closer to it, but if I put out my hand in a landing motion like so, it will recognize that I want it to land and it's just gonna land like so. The next mode we're checking out is orbit and I'm just gonna move a little bit further away from the camera uh, so it doesn't hit into the camera, but orbit's going to orbit around me. It's set in 1.5 meters. I can adjust that in the settings. But let's just see how this goes. I'm just gonna stand still and see what it does. It should theoretically just orbit around me. Here we go, so it's recording. So it's just orbiting around me. It's relatively low altitude. I can obviously adjust all of that. But this is awesome if you're in a beautiful location and it gives you a nice revealing shot. I can see it's stopped recording now. It's come in a little bit closer to me and it's going to land like that. It feels like you got a pet drone, really. The next mode is bird eye. Now this means that it's going to give us a bird's eye perspective. So I'm actually gonna lay on the ground for this one. So it's gonna launch straight when it recognizes me. It will start going up. Here we go, now I can lay down and it's going to look down at me. So it's just gonna keep going up. <laughs> and give us that really cool bird's eye look. And then it will slowly start coming down. And here it is coming down. So I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna have grass all over me now. There we go, let's come down and it angles the camera up and then it just stops ready to land. It gives me the light indicator. So I love the indicator with the light. It's actually really handy. It goes red when it's recording. Uh, it goes green when it's ready to basically hand catch again when it's finished its recording process. And there's a few other color options. So that's really handy. I'm now gonna go into the manual mode. And for this one, you actually need to connect it up. So there's a different little setting to connect it up. And now once I'm ready to go, I can just press the power button once. It tells me it's in manual control. So this is what it looks like on the screen. Uh, I will say that I would like to see just a little bit more freedom here. So I can't even rotate my phone and have like a full horizontal view and then the controls, you know, either side, it's basically vertical. So I have one control stick on top of another control stick. It would be really nice if it was basically able to rotate this way and then it overlaid so it felt like almost a video game at that point. But still, it is handy if you want to have some manual kind of movements. You can adjust the gimbal up and down. Uh, you can also record from this mode as well, which is obviously quite handy. So you've got some control here to adjust the gimbal. You can fly backwards, 
forwards, you can go left and right. You can see it's quite gradual here. And it does a great job, you know, like it is a manual mode. You have full control if you need that full control. But this probably isn't a mode that I'm going to use as much. I actually really like all the intelligent flight modes. All right, so that's it. I'm now going to land it. And again, all you have to do is just put your hand underneath it. It will recognize, and then that's it. So I've now put it into the snapshot mode, which is basically just going to take a photo. So it wants me to point it at me. It obviously couldn't recognize me. So this is great if you've got like you and your family and you want to get a nice shot of whatever it is behind you. So it started its process and now theoretically it should just take a photo of us. So it's got the flashing red light which I believe it's just letting us know that it's in that snapshot mode. I can move with this which is cool. So it seems to just keep taking photos by the looks of it, which is very cool. So it's now in dolly track. So that means that it's gonna follow me from the front. So I will start walking towards the camera very soon. So imagine you're on a bike or electric scooter or whatever it may be, and you're going towards the drone. It's just gonna keep you smack bang in the center of the frame and it's going to do that dolly track. So that's a really cool mode. I actually like the dolly track mode a lot. I can move a little bit to the sides, but it's going to keep me right at the front of the frame. So this is different to the, uh, the following mode because that seems to track you from behind where this one is okay to track you from the front. Like if I turn around, for example, let's see what it does. Okay, so it can actually like continue tracking you with different directions depending on where you're going. So that's a cool one as well, I like that one. This one you need to actually put your hand out just to let it know that you wanna land because otherwise it will just keep flying away from you. So there you go, so it's initiated, flown towards me, and now it's come back, ready to land. This is now the sidetrack mode, which is one of the newer features actually. As the name suggests, it's going to track you from the side. So you can get all sorts of orientations here with all the different tracking modes. This one's going to prioritize tracking from the side. Uh, the dolly track's gonna prioritize tracking from the front. And then from my understanding, the follow mode is going to prioritize tracking from behind. So this is again a really cool one if you're on a bike, on an electric scooter, whatever it may be, it's gonna track you from the side. So let's say we've got lots of water off to the side here. It's a beautiful spot. You know, I can cruise along and it's going to prioritize that side profile. So side track is another really cool feature here. Once you're ready, put your hand out, let it know that you want it to land. It just went straight into the mode, ready to land. All right, we're now going to check out this new advanced mode that I have to tap to unlock. So that's another really cool thing. I love how you have to like unlock the different modes. So it kind of eases you into it. You get a few features and then you unlock a few as you go. So this is the smart control mode. Now this one seems to be quite an interesting one here. I don't know if this is a gesture one. Move a little in the trajectory will change. Okay, so it looks like you've got some gestures that you can get it to do. So there's all sorts of gestures. Try landing in case of an emergency, perform the gesture below to exit the current mode or end the follow mode. So you cross your arms. I have not checked this one out yet, but it's looking like I need to put my hands like that. Oh, okay, and it's just gonna come back and land for me. That's really cool. So that's how I unlock all gestures. And now when I tap on that, it's kind of like they've gamified it in a way where you progress along and you get new things as you go. So now we've got all sorts of gestures here, which I can see. We've got the landing one, which I showed you above my head. Zoom out is kind of like wave your arms sideways. The orbit, you orbit to the left, orbit to the right with your right and left arm. Okay, so you can gesture a lot of different moves here. So let's gesture the orbit. Let's try that. Maybe like that. One, two. There we go. It's going to hit the camera. Oh no. Oh, right in front of the camera. That was crazy. <laughs> okay, so you can use some gesture modes in that smart control feature. It's just going to do a bit of an orbit around us, like so. And then if I want to do the zoom out, so you wave your arms sideways and in the front twice. So I go one, two. Okay, and then the lights changed just to let us know that it's recognized what I want it to do. So it's gonna fly back and then it's gonna come back in again. That's so cool, I love that. And then once I'm ready, just do the cross above my head. It's then gonna come back to me, good little pet drone. 
And there we go. So there are all of the intelligent features or the intelligent flight modes with the Hover Air X1.